Hi everyone, I am Legend, Legend Aswilime. Back in the days in, uh, in school, myself and a friend, we had a discussion and the discussion kept coming up over and over through the years about uh, an idea which was not an illusion. It was written and enclosed in a scroll. Imam and priest dreamt it, conceptualized by artists and infidels. Farmers and scholars saw a destiny alike. Entrepreneurs and laborers saw partnership in themselves. It was called Nigeria. It is not stolen. It is merely hidden in a cave. Many persons have gone there and have been unable to bring it back to us into our consciousness. But then I look at the array of uh, contestants uh, for this 2023 election. The only person that I see having the audacity and the foresight and the clear vision showing that he has read the scroll is Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tunubu. Every other contestant are ethnic jingoists in a way. But Ashiwaju seems to be the only one that has shown himself to be a nationalist. His ideas and interests cuts across borders, from the east, west, south, and north. He has friends across the two rivers, major rivers in Nigeria. He has partners. He has uh, families. He has uh, business associates. He has political allies. He understands how to speak to people and how to make things work together. So. Among all these contestants between you and I, I think Ashwaju is the best candidate for Nigeria. He has the vision, he has the foresight, the capacity, the technical know-how to govern Nigeria. He is the most prepared of all the candidates that we have today. The rest are accidental candidates. And the other one is a serial contestant. Ashwaju is the person for you in 2023. My name is Prince Ade Amoli. I'm the Director of Diaspora Directorate, Tinumbu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council. Few people have actually asked me why Nigerians should be voting for Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinumbu. And I say three things. First, competence. Second, capacity. Third, character. Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinumbu has actually demonstrated over the years that he has these three qualities. He is the right person to actually take over from President Muhammad Buhari, who has laid a solid foundation for the presidency of Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinumbu. We have been campaigning across the country. The Diaspora Directorate has also been going around the globe to ensure that we galvanize and mobilize votes for Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinumbu, for Nigerians outside the country that have the voters, the permanent voters card. That's been, the response has been successful, the response has been positive, and we will continue doing that till the election in 2023. I strongly believe that Ashwa Jupola Metinum is the only candidate that can build on the foundation laid by President Muhammad Buhari. We have seen from the so-called manifesto of other candidates you will agree with me that these manifestos are empty, they are shallow, and provide no way for the progress of Nigeria. Ashiwaju Paul Ahmed Tinumbu is the only candidate who can take Nigeria to greater heights. And I'm appealing, I'm campaigning, and I'm also asking that you join me on the Ashiwaju Paul Ahmed Tinumbu advocacy so that he becomes the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, so that we can all work together as one team to take Nigeria to greater heights. Thank you so much. So I'm Professor Lekan Yusuf, a member of the diaspora community in South Africa. And um, I am here to actually uh, do a reflection of my take on the politics and particularly a reflection of the candidates we presented to 
in Nigeria as potentially the next president of the country. So I am a professor of public health and um, I've had the last eight years as a senior executive of a university, I've served as a deputy vice chancellor and uh, vice chancellor of one of the universities here and currently head a school of health systems and public health. I believe I can make a reflection on what is it that we are presented to with in Nigeria. And I haven't thought deep and hard. I've looked at all the manifesto and looked at the records of the candidates. And I'm sitting here as part of a movement for security and prosperity in Nigeria. And very proudly uh, stand behind Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the most qualified candidate for the president of Nigeria. At this time, the country needs somebody who's steady, who's got records and not just rhetorics. Um, just to say, I haven't read and looked at what is most important that is needed in Nigeria. I could glare for, from that manifesto three key issues, or I would say broadly four. The issue of economy, recalibrating the economy, rightly understood what needs to be done, whether it be it in infrastructure, power, oil and gas. The issue around education, the needs to restructure the governance of education in Nigeria as the basis uh, of reform. The issue around health, also the issue to restructure, to recalibrate the governance and identifying the issues around preparing for future pandemics, the role of climate change, and of course, social programs. And in social programs, we talk about women empowerment, the priority on, on youth. And when you look at all of this, underpinned by the plan on security and judicial reform and federalism, it is clear that the only one candidate that understands the problem of Nigeria and has the solution in the blueprint and the record, forget all the character assassination, forget the emotions, forget religious bigotry, there's only one candidate for Nigeria, that's Ashuaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. Oh, my name is Yusuf, Ola Dipipo, Ola Sheni, uh, Nigeria and the diaspora. Considering um, the current political uh, election coming on in 2023, the presidential election in Nigeria, Nigeria is currently at a crossroad where right now we can't afford to get anything wrong. So right now, what we need is a visionary leader with capacity and a go-getter, we can actually get things done. We can move Nigeria forward, drive Nigeria forward. We've listened to several promises in the past, but right now, we really need to go and get things right. Now, talking about us, my favorite, who I believe in can get things done for us, is Ashua Jibola Hamed Tsunumbu. Ask me why, I'll tell you. He's a visionary and a go-getter. When it comes to getting things done, he's not sentimental, and he, at the same time, he's not a religion fanatic. He puts the right square, I mean the right peg, in the right hole. That's what he does. We can look at it relates to his achievements in Lagos State. And not even about that, he has the human resources to get things done in Nigeria. When he moves, look at the caliber of people he carries around. House of Representative members, senators, governors, and these are people who have done well and still doing well in their respective offices. So why not we all, um, I would advise Nigerian youth, all Nigerians, to come together. Let's see Ashwa Jibola and Metinumbu as a God gift. Let's all maximize the benefit of this gift to the fullest by voting Ashwa Jibola and Metinumbu come 2023 February as the next president of Nigeria. Thank you, everyone. <music>